BTP authentication and destinations are now available for AppGyver customers on SAP Business Technology Platform. This now makes it even easier to access and utilize data from any cloud or on-premise SAP system within AppGyver's no-code environment. Let's see how you can set this up and then use the integration in a project. First, you'll need to enable SAP authentication for your app. Head to the Auth tab and select Enable Authentication. Choose SAP BTP Authentication, confirm your choice, and then save the configuration. Now that authentication is enabled, an additional page is added to your app automatically. This checks the credentials of the end user coming from an SAP BTP account. Now we can start using BTP destinations as a data source. From the Data tab, you can select Add Integration and then BTP Destinations to see all of the connections that have been configured in your BTP account. Select the destination you want to use and you'll get an overview of all the data entities here. When I choose Customers from the list, I see all of the capabilities and fields of this specific entity. You can even browse the data and make changes. Then you can install the integration and enable it as a data entity. Now we'll show how to utilize this integration in your app. The easiest way to do this is with the data component. Install a basic list component from the marketplace and drag it onto the canvas. In the component properties, select configure. This allows you to map the fields of the component with fields from the integration without having to enable data variables or create additional logic. Once you've set up your data component, you can save and preview the app, complete with data from your BTP destination.